I'm going to be talking about how we construct our pod books because so many people ask me, so I figure I'd share what we do. The first thing I do is I print out all of our pages and we use eye gauge. Normally I use 10 mil, but we accidentally ordered 8 mil, so that's what we're using. <laughs> And then I like to laminate the first four or five pages in the front and the back two, which happen to be our alternative pencil. Um, I feel like this just helps with stability. Um, this is supposed to be um, low gloss or matte laminate, um, but this must be a bad brand because it's awfully shiny. So next time we do a pod book, we're gonna try to purchase a different type of laminate. Um, the secret to the first few pages laminating them is that you need to trim them first because the laminate needs to stick to itself. And if you keep them full size, then the laminate will be over top of the other pages. And I like everything nice and neat and tidy. I do not cut out my tabs before I bind. After we laminate, we take it to the printer, we go to staples and we have it spiral bound. And I like to get a big binding so that we can put the PVC pipe rod through it. And also it makes for really easy flipping um, where the smaller this is, the tighter it is, and um, the slower it is to flip pages. So this is how we begin the pod. And then the next step would be to um, making the strap, um, the strap and the PVC pipe. The next step would be to get your PVC pipe and clearly I have a long PVC pipe. Um, we've just been cutting this down as we make pods. And what I like to do is measure out how much I need. I always wanna make sure I have a good amount on the end because I wanna put a cap on it and thread the strap through on each end. A little bit less maybe. And then I'm just gonna take a pen and mark it. And then I'm gonna go cut the pipe. I cut my PVC pipe and then I pop these caps on. Um, these can just be found at um, the Homes, Home Goods or whatever store, um, Home Depot, Lowe's, can't think what it's called. Um, anyway, and then I just pop it in to make sure we're looking good as far as length and we are and I'm just going to mark two holes here that I'm going to use my drill and drill halfway through because that is where I'm going to thread the strap. All right after I have drilled my holes here and there I am then going to use um, duct tape to cover up this ugly rod and I have all my kids color coded. Jaden is always green, um, his braces are green, his hearing aids are green, his glasses are green, his wheelchair is green. Um, this just makes it easier for us. <laughs> And I like this color. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this um, in the duct tape and then just use um, that same drill just to re-poke through there. Um, I drilled it before the duct tape because the duct tape can get really sticky so when you're right, drilling. So I have my PVC pole all wrapped in green Jaden color duct tape. And now I am going to take my strap. Um, I like my straps a little shorter because they hang on the back of the wheelchairs. Um, during transport um, and this way they don't drag on the ground or touch the wheels. Um, also we find that we never wear the pods because we're always holding them and traveling from room to room or Jaden's grabbing his um, and if the strap is shorter then it's not dragging on the ground when he extends his arm it's still um, just by his foot. So now I then thread the one end through in through it, pull it out, knot it, and then make it tight. Then put the cap on, the PVC cap. And then I'm going to put it through the pod and then do the same with the other side. And then I have my strap. Our strap is complete. It's nice and sturdy, has a cool design. I know it's Jaden's right away. The big spiral lets me flip nice and easy. This is new, so some of the pages are still stuck together. That's the other thing you'll have to do is when it's spiral bound, you kind of have to pull the binding apart a little bit. Um, the next step would be to cut all of these tabs 
Next step would be to cut all of these tabs. Um, when we first started Pod, people suggested that, you know, maybe we have like a paper cutting party or whatever. Um, I actually really find it pretty easy to do um, once the book is bound. Um, it's a lot harder to do when it's not bound because then you have um, the run the risk of getting pages mixed up or pages crinkled or um, I'm a perfectionist. So what happens if someone cuts it wrong? Um, and this paper is very expensive. So um, I'm going to go ahead and cut all these tabs out. I have my own little system that makes it go fast. Um, but once again, when you're cutting the laminated pages, make sure you leave a tiny little border for the lamination so it doesn't peel so it can stick to itself. Right, so I went ahead and I cut out the first few pages. So you see, the last thing that I do that is probably the most tedious and takes the most time is that I go through and put clear tape, like scotch tape, over every single tab. I fold it sideways over, over and then trim each end so it's nice and neat. This helps with durability and if you are a good little modeler, you are flipping and touching these tabs hundreds of times a day. And so that's what get used, used the most and so it should help um, them from tearing and keeps the color nice and bright. Obviously there are a million ways to construct a pod. This just happens to be what works for my kids. Um, we have tried stands, but it just doesn't seem to um, work for us. Um, I'm always repositioning, moving, flipping um, at this stage in the game. This is just a really great thing for us.